Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is a sweet lizard created by sixth grader TT. Friends, today we're going to make it into a tutorial. So let's get cracking. Super quick, friends. We are going to make this guy and we're going to cut him flat when we're done. Put a hole in him, add a spot for eyes. And when we're finished, he will be 3D printable. TT built this amazing dude with one idea, and that was using shift scale and duplicate and rotate. A lot of guess and check, and then she gave it to me, and now you can see I have been using guess and check to replicate her process. I've got it down pretty quick, so let's go. The first thing you need to do, friends, is switch from basic shapes to design starters, and I want you to find the capsule. When you bring the capsule out, if you check it out, currently it has a length of 40. We are going to hold down shift, and we're going to shrink that and change it to 17 and press enter. This will be the main body chunk right here. I'm going to look at it from a corner. I'm going to lay it down flat, so I'm doing 90 degrees, and then I'm going to hit D to drop. Let's press F to fit view, so we're zooming in on that guy. We are going to keep the 8.5, but we're going to change this to 11 and press enter. Now this next step is fun, awesome, and a little tricky. I'm going to scroll out. I'm going to make sure you understand right now you can't click anywhere else or you cancel it out and you have to redo it again. If you saw my examples, I redid it a hundred times. So here's how it works. Do control D. Don't click anything else. Hold shift and shrink one of these sides. And in this box, I want you to type 15.5 and press enter. I want you to hold shift and I want you to nudge one and I want you to nudge one and I want you to rotate 35 degrees. Now this needs to connect over there so we're just going to use our arrow key to nudge it over just like that and then friends that's it. If we do control D again and again you see it moves each time it gets a little bit smaller and there is the lizard's tail. It is a genius skill, and I'm so impressed that TT came up with it. Friends, now it's time to make the body, so come back to the first one. Do Control-D, and I'm going to do Shift-Nudge to move it out. I'm going to take its length. Instead of 17, I'm going to make it 32. And then I'm going to nudge it back into place where the body would be. Time to make a head. We are going to go back to the basic shapes for that. We are going to bring out a paraboloid. I'm going to tell you to grab one of these corners, hold shift, and I want you to change it to 13.5. When you press enter, it'll all snap. Let's zoom in with F for fit view. Make sure we're looking at it for a corner and rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside that circle, it is super simple. We want a second one, so we're going to do control D, but we want it to flip. Boom, opposite ends. We're going to take the second one and put the work plane here. When you click on the second one and hit D, it'll automatically move back so that we've got the head, and then this will be the neck. Let's do work plane, and let's take those two pieces and group them. Look back at our project from a big corner and a home view, and now we can take our head and nudge it into place. I'm going to use shift nudge and shift nudge, F to fit view, and then, friends, I'm going to select those two pieces, click a line, and we want to use the big body piece as the master. So when you click that, you can choose center and center, and it gets that head totally aligned and ready for cutting out. Time to make an arm, friends. We are going to do that by switching to design starters, bringing out a capsule. We are going to click on that capsule, hold shift, and I want you to change this measurement to 10. Let's use F to fit view and lay it down. I'm going to do 90 degrees this way and then D to drop. And then I want it to poke back a little. I'm going to do about 25 degrees. You can be a little bit flexible with that. So this will be the arm moving back like this. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to pull the next one out in front and I'm going to rotate it a few degrees to the front, connect it where it would be. And I'm also going to do shift squish so it's a little bit smaller. Really flexible on the sizes, really flexible on the arrangement. You are just moving them to where you think these are cool. Friends, it's time to add toes. I know this is going fast, but that's one of the coolest things is how slick this design is. We are going to do shift shrink, and I'm going to tell you to go all the way down to size 4 and press enter. Then I'm going to tell you to make it too wide, and then this is a toe. 
I'm gonna use shift nudge to get it close. I'm gonna zoom in with F for fit view and I'm gonna rotate it a couple degrees and get it right where I want that toe to be. Once again, totally flexible as you make your own cool ones here. Check this out, I'm gonna do control D and rotate. And if I do control D again, it memorizes that a little bit. It's not perfect, but we just move them in and adjust them until we are happy with our awesome toes. I'm gonna give them five little toes and orbit around and just get them all in place. If you want a different number of toes, you've got that ability. You can also shrink and squish these. When you are squishing them at an angle, it does kind of make it kitty wampus, but that can give you a cool effect as well. Get your toes however you think they're cool. And when you've got that whole foot created, I'm gonna real quickly do 0.1 so I can get that the exact amount I want. We want another one just like it. I'm gonna make this toe a little less pudgy and I'm gonna make this toe a little less pudgy. I'm gonna grab that entire foot, do control G to group it, which is also the group button. And then I'm gonna do control D, shift nudge to the other side. Notice because I was on point one, it took a lot longer to shift nudge. And then I'm gonna flip it this way, bam. Two arms, just like that, both connected and both looking pretty darn spiffy. If you don't like how you did it, you can ungroup and adjust those until you've got the exact shape you want. You do want to make sure they are all the way down though, because that is important. Real quickly, let's group this back up. And then for the back leg, I'm gonna use a sphere. When you bring it out, hold down shift and we are gonna type 10, move it into place, and I'm gonna get it right back here. And I'm gonna make it a skinny hip. I'll make it white so it matches the rest of my little fella here. Control down so it sinks in a little bit. Get it right where I want the hip to be. I'm gonna switch back to my one millimeter nudge so these nudges go faster. F to fit view. I'm gonna do D to drop. I'm gonna rotate that a few degrees and then we need to add the toes. Friends, I'm gonna do my toes like this. Ungroup, select this front chunk, do Control D, shift nudge it back. This one I want to be more straight and I can just move it into place. If you wanna customize it all, you can zoom in and get an exact grip. I'm gonna make this back leg a little thinner by just using the squish and then nudging it exactly where I want. You can have fun with that, customizing it however you think makes more sense. I'm gonna make mine a little skinnier and a little longer. And then friends, take that leg. I'm grouping all those little pieces. Control D, shift to move to the other side and don't forget flip with the mirror command and boom. Now just nudge it till they're exactly in the same spot. You have just made a lizard with legs. Time to add eyes. I'm gonna add my eyes with the sphere. I always like to hold down shift and shrink them. I'm gonna tell you size four is a good size for them. I'm also gonna put holes in them so I can add filament. When you hold down shift and shrink this, I'm gonna tell you 1.96 is my favorite number. I do wanna stretch those out so they poke in farther. I'm gonna to choose to poke it in seven and press enter. Let's take those two items and align them. We're gonna do center and center. And then you can grab the two items and move them into place. So I'm doing shift nudge. I'm gonna do control up. And then when it pokes out and is in the right spot, I can rotate it to the exact way I want. Let's do fit view. Notice we've got both of them selected. If you mess that up, you can hold down shift and click on both of them. See, you've got two shapes and then we can rotate. I want my angle of my eyes to be this way. Once again, I'm gonna nudge that into place. Let's look at it from a front corner. I'm gonna nudge that down with control one. Let's switch to a 0.5 grid so it's a little easier to get exactly the way I want. 
Just arrow keys to the exact spot you think is good. Do control D. And then I want to push this hole back in. So I'm going to click somewhere else, click on the hole, and then to get the exact right angle, you need to set it on the top of that so then it pushes straight back in. Just like that. Work plane back on the ground. Let's do shift select on the blue one, the hole, control D, arrows to the other side. Now you could have both your eyes looking the same way. I'm going to flip mine so they're looking out the other way. It's time to add a keychain hole. My keychains are all size 5. We're going to do a cylinder and we're going to hold down shift and shrink a corner and type 5 and press enter. I am going to make it taller so it cuts all the way through. And then I'm going to move it back to the one that I think it cuts best. Let's use F to fit view and check and see if that's pretty good. I believe it is. Friends, now we've got to slice it flat for 3D printing. We're going to do that by bringing out a cube. I've got to have you make it four thick. We're going to stretch it way past. We're going to stretch it way past. Let's also make sure we got the back. We've got it all selected. Now remember we went four high. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down three. Control down arrow one, two, three clicks. You'll notice that cuts everything off nice and flat. Select it from the top and do group to make it one flat piece. It takes a moment for it to group, so make sure you're patient. After a moment, it'll look like that. If you look underneath, see how totally flat that is? That is perfect. Click on your lizard and make sure you hit D to drop. You can pick a fun color. They'll print with whatever color filament you have, but you've just made a fantastic 3D printable lizard. Friends, if you're in my classroom and you want to export it, make sure you put lizard with your initials, and then also you can put your favorite color. You want it printed. I can't guarantee I've got the colors, but it gives you a shot. Then you can click on your lizard, choose export, choose STL, and then of course in my room, find the STL folder and export your design. That's how easy it is to create your own Tinkercad 3D printable lizard. Friends, of course, if you make an amazing modification, don't forget you can share it with me by simply clicking this button, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website and I have a page dedicated to Tinkercad. And then down at the bottom there is also a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click this button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the brand new Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad and, quite possibly, chat with me. Finally, friends, huge shout out to TT. Oh my gosh, your design was amazing, and it is so cool to be able to share the techniques with everybody else. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.